I'm Regina and this is Arlington National Cemetery. Today in the next segment we're going to discuss liquid crystals and how they impact our everyday life, the mystery substance. With that, this is Regina for Channel 4 Action News. Hi, I'm Carolyn. And I'm Michelle. Everyone uses soap, but no one really knows what's in it. Today we're going to learn about liquid crystals and their use in soap and LCDs. Here I am in our nation's capital, the mystery substance, liquid crystals. What are they? Let's see what our nation's people think. What do you know about liquid crystals? Liquid crystals. Liquid crystals. Liquid crystals. Liquid crystals. Liquid crystals. Never heard of them. Well, do you use shampoo? Yeah, on my hair. And how do you feel about science? I like your shirt. It's really cute. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this lovely couple thinks about liquid crystals. I love liquid crystals. Crystals are very expensive. But you love buying them, don't Absolutely. My favorite crystals, though, are LCDs. Liquid crystal displays. What a great segue. Back to you. A liquid crystal is a state of matter which has both liquid and solid crystal properties with molecules oriented in a crystal-like way. Liquid crystals may flow like a liquid and are divided into three phases, thermotropic, lyotropic, and metallotropic. All three phases consist of organic molecules, but the metallotropic has inorganic molecules as well. The phase transitions occur with various quantitative changes such as temperature, concentration, and inorganic to organic composition ratio. Liquid crystals exist in the real world as technological applications, electronic displays such as LCDs, proteins, cell membranes, and soaps and detergents. Just like how water may turn into ice or steam, liquid crystals aren't always sure of the phase they want to be in. However, it seems that 22-year-old Antoinette Lavoisier is sure about this. What? Mark Anical does not have children. Liquid crystals make up soap molecules. The hydrophilic or water-loving heads and hydrophobic or water-hating tails of the molecules in the soap line up in a layer-like structure, which resembles the nomadic phase of liquid crystals. This phase is one of the subcategories of the thermotropic liquid crystals, which are dependent on a certain temperature range. At a high heat, they will eventually be driven into a convectional isotropic liquid phase, where there is a random molecular order causing the crystal to flow like a liquid. At a low temperature, thermotropic liquid crystals will form a typical solid crystal. In the nomadic phase, the molecules have no positional order, but do have long-range orientational order, meaning it flows like a liquid, but all molecules point the same way. Another use of liquid crystals is in LCDs. Liquid crystals are best known for their use in LCDs, or liquid crystal displays. LCDs are made up of a pneumatic liquid crystal between two plates of glass. The most common display is the twisted pneumatic, used in everyday items like watches and calculators. This configuration sets up a 90 degree twist into the bulk of the liquid crystal. The twist gives the LCD the ability to be changed by an electric current and to conduct electricity. It also allows light to pass through the LCD, letting the liquid crystals transmit and change polarized light. When LCDs are constructed, sheets of glass are coated with electrodes and stacked together with a layer of polymer spacer beads in between. These beads leave a gap for the liquid crystals to be placed later. After the liquid crystals are placed, polarizers are used to align the layers in the twisted pneumatic display. Liquid crystals are an important part of everyday life. Without them, we wouldn't have many luxuries such as computers and TVs that we heavily rely upon. Now back to Regina. In conclusion, liquid crystals are really important for everyday life. If we didn't have them, for example, in the soap that we use, then we would all be, as Mr. Soxman says... Ew! Ew! My mom was like... Ew! Ew.